I often get asked, how do you rapidly transform your life? Right? So a lot of people think that the transformation process has to take a long time. And I feel that we're actually in the state of accelerated spiritual growth. A lot of people are waking up, going through their own dark nights of the soul, their own lack of clarity, their own confusion, their own spiritual awakenings or kundalini awakenings and awakening to healing the core woundings that have been keeping them stuck or repeating patterns and cycles their entire life. And so I often get asked, does the transformation process have to take a long time? And my answer to that is it depends. It depends on you and how willing you are to turn the mirror on yourself. And this is especially true when it comes to being triggered. So I just wrapped up an amazing training inside the Evolve Spiritual Mentorship Program. If you're thinking about checking that out or you want to possibly have ongoing spiritual men mentorship and a community of like-minded souls that are on the path, check out the link, whether it's in my bio or below this video or in the comments or something like that. Uh, reach out to me if you have any questions about that. I just released a training today inside Evolve and dropped the training called Transcending the Trigger. So what does this really mean? It means that the reason things are popping up into your experience to begin with is so you can consciously work on them. Prior to waking up and being on the conscious path, you've likely been running around um, subconsciously just reacting to things from your knee-jerk reactions and your core woundings and your limited belief systems that you've been repeating over and over again for likely your whole life. And so when Joseph Campbell said, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure that you seek, what I really feel he was speaking to were these emotions and these core woundings and these limited um, beliefs around our self-identity that we don't want to look at, our shadow side. And triggers quote unquote triggers that um, pop up into our experience are meant to bring this to our awareness so that we can consciously work on them. If you're watching this video, you've probably already stepped onto the conscious path and onto the awakened path. So the ego doesn't go away because you do that, right? The ego is still very sneaky at getting you to focus on things other than your own growth process and other than the inner work that needs to be done and anything other than self-reflection, right? So the process that I shared in the Evolve program today and the training that I dropped is a six-step process that gets you into the state of self-reflection so you can transform the quickest and you're able to transform the quickest when you are able to take full accountability for everything that's going on but more importantly view the trigger as an opportunity and a catalyst for your own growth process so think about what that means this means that you are no longer allowing things in your experience that are unfavorable to continue to derail you. Instead, the things that pop up in your experience that are unfavorable are immediately driving your attention inward so that you can focus on what it is meant to cultivate within your beingness so that you can evolve the quickest. And so when people ask me that question, does it take a long time to transform my life? My answer is, again, it depends. It could take your whole life. It depends on you and how willing you are to do the uncomfortable work, to enter the quote unquote cave as Joseph Campbell likes to call it and go inward and reveal to yourself what you truly need to heal to transform your life and recognizing that the triggers in your reality are a guidepost to those things. So you get to use your triggers as a springboard towards your new self or you can use your triggers to keep you stuck and keep you confused and keep you repeating patterns on autopilot for the rest of your life. You get to choose. I believe we have free will and we get to choose our, our path. But you also, if you're watching this video, are probably part of the uh, wave of awakening that's happening right now because I believe it comes in waves and there is obviously a huge wave of awakening that happened in 2012 2013 I believe awakening comes in waves and if you're watching this video now you're likely part of that you probably already stepped onto the conscious path or you would not be drawn to this material and so keeping that in mind that your triggers are there to serve you and that when you can look at them from that 
place of self-growth and spiritual awareness um, to recognize what they're highlighting in you so you can shift, transform, and transcend that, they no longer hold you back. In fact, they just propel you forward. So think about that. Think about how powerful your transformation process could be or how fast it could be if the things that normally made you take two steps backwards only allowed to pull yourself forward two steps, right? You didn't have to keep taking the steps backwards. You could just catapult yourself forward. So growth can happen inch by inch, right? Or you can make quantum leaps. It depends on you. It depends on your perception. It depends on the meaning you attach to things. It depends on your own willingness to allow this process to unfold in a vulnerable way that may scare you, but get you closer and closer to, towards your goal and towards aligning with your authentic self. So I hope this video finds you well. If you have any questions or comments about it, please drop me a comment. And if you have uh, interest in Evolve Spiritual Mentorship Program, check out the URL that's either above or below this video or in my bio if you're watching this on Instagram. Namaste.